Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Listen, now this one has been long awaited. I have been living in New York City for about a year and a half now, and I don't know how I haven't made one of these vlogs, but listen, I think it's because the stakes are high, and I don't want people to come to New York City and be like, wow, my, I tried your guide and it was ass. That's the last thing that I want, okay? But whenever I meet a lot of you guys, Whenever I meet a lot of you guys, no. But whenever I meet you guys on the streets and you guys are visiting New York, I always hear you guys be like, oh my God, my, I tried Nat Jang one. I went to the fruit markets. I went to your favorite coffee spot. And I'm like, no way. Like you planned your whole New York trip off of my vlogs. What? So I think it's only proper for me to do a real NYC guide of my actual favorite spots. But I'm not gonna lie. I think that this is gonna have to be a series because I got a lot of favorite spots. Today is gonna be more of like the touristy things, but I'm not giving Times Square, okay? I'm giving more of like the popular spots but they're popular for a reason and maybe in another vlog I can give more of my like low-key favorite spots but today you're getting the real NYC experience well, not real, but you're getting a NYC experience. I'm also gonna be mapping this out for you guys and leaving like the addresses and everything so that you guys can follow this exact route because I don't wanna say that I've planned it out, but we're gonna make sure that there's time between eating and letting the food digest and then eating again. Because the thing about New York is I feel like most of the spots are food spots, but you can't just eat the entire day because then you're gonna feel sick. So this is well thought out. If you think that it's crazy, like like the mapping of it, just, just trust the process. The reason why we're doing this New York City guide all of a sudden even though it's been a while is because Natalie's in town Hi. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Natalie. I'm basically Mai's biggest fan. Somehow I became like a fan and now I'm in the famous penthouse No, because I watch her videos as well. So she's here in New York. She's coming. Well, she's not coming She's she's here, babe. Uh, she's staying with me So we're gonna take her around and give her the New York City experience so, Because where have you been so far? Starbucks two different times. No, no, no We're gonna we're gonna put you on like the New York City coffee, okay? We went to go see the memorial. That was fun. Mm -hmm. We went on the train that was an experience. Oh, by the way, I got her lost on the train twice and I was there with her. Like, <laughs> I lost this on the train. Because I was like, oh, like I was feeling a little bit confident. I was like, I got this. Like, I take this train all the time, but I just haven't taken the train in a minute because we've been riding the bike, okay? And next thing you know, we're headed the direction into Queens instead of Manhattan and we went the wrong opposite way and then we did that twice on accident. But you know what? I feel like that's a part of the New York City experience. If you don't get lost on the trains your first time here, you're doing it wrong. And if you're not taking the trains, you're doing it wrong. But today, we're gonna take Ubers. She's like, mm, let's just, let's get the Ubers. Let's I'll pay for it. Uber. I'll pay every time. I think she had the traumatic experience from the last couple times. So, a dude literally tried to spit on her. Yeah, I'm not taking the train again. Literally, I don't know why we're targeted when I'm there. We got targeted, like we called, we literally got called tamales. Like hot tamales. Oh hot tamales. The whole time that we were crossing like the, the street. The, yeah, the street. And, and he was like, some hot tamales. Some <laughs> hot tamales. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I've never had like, I mean, yeah, no, not really. I've never really had like a bad New York City experience. I think that if you're just, maybe you're radiating first time in NYC and they're like, all right, let's give it to her. Let's give it to her. The outfit is giving you're not from here. When I first moved to uh, New York, people in New York would be like, are you from LA? And I'd be like, how do you know? And they're like, it's the way that you dress. And I was like, damn, I didn't know it was like that distinct because I don't notice. But I guess the people that live here notice. Oh my gosh, so I lost my wallet, but I found my old, old, old wallet that I lost though. But if you guys come to New York, and you guys are looking for a hotel, stay at the 11 Howard. When I would visit here, I stayed at the 11 Howard. They're amazing, but they are expensive. But look at it though, you know, maybe they're in the perfect location and there's also like a club adjacent to it as well. I don't know, it's really beautiful, the 11 Howard, and it's in an amazing location. But if you're looking for something more um, affordable, I actually don't know how the prices went up or down. There's something called the Freeman Hotel. It's like an Airbnb. I'll have a link down below. Oh, and then the Citizen M Hotel is the really affordable one. It's definitely a lot smaller, but it's in a good area and it's a good hotel. Like, like I approve. But yo, those are three places you could stay. Waiting for the Uber, but I'm actually so hungry that I'm looking in the fridge to try to find anything, but I have nothing. But we're gonna be eating good. We're gonna be eating good today. Sterling is also eating good. Oh my God, farmer's dog, hashtag ad. Just kidding, not. Not an ad. Mmm, eat up. Mans loves his food. I actually tried farmer's dog because I saw in Natalie's vlog, she was using farmer's dog. And I was like, oh, I literally hear every bitch talk about farmer's dog. Like, is it actually for real? Like the fact that Natalie's using it, like it must be for real. And Sterling actually eats his food. Like, you know, I don't know if you have a dog. You know when you feed your dog and they like don't want to eat and it makes you concerned because your dog's not eating? Sterling actually genuinely is excited for his food every single day. So I think it's working. And honestly, he got skinnier. Sterling was a little chunk, right? Yeah, he was a little chunk. The vet was like, oh, like <laughs> 10 pounds. <laughs> it's okay. And I was like, oh, what was he the last time that he was in here? They're like, he was seven. I was like, 
That was what Sterling's eating today in his New York City guide, but we're about to head out soon. That was literally not an ad. Really wish it was though. So we're currently in the Uber. Yes, the Uber. I know you guys were expecting a train gal, but maybe I'll do another tutorial on that another day. But we're on our way to the Lower East Side right now to go to Cafe Grumpy. You guys have seen it in my vlogs a million times, but Cafe Grumpy is my favorite cafe ever. It's not like a work cafe. It, they just have really good coffee. And I swear I take everybody that I know to this coffee spot. So if you come here, this is an essential and you have to get what I'm about to show you. So You're exciting. a coffee gal, right? I love coffee. But like what kind of coffee though? I love lattes. Mm -hmm. Like and really mellow coffee. I don't like dark roast. Mm, okay, okay. It hurts my head. It needs to be like a mellow, easy but super high in caffeine. Uh-huh. Do you Blonde like, do you like sweet? Do you like sweet? I Yes. Yes. Okay. She's a Starbucks gal, but <laughs> we're converting her to the Cafe Grumpy right now. Cafe Grumpy. Can I just get a honey oat latte ice, please? <laughs> Alright, we're sitting in front now. She's trying the coffee. What do you think? It's literally like, it's so good. Like, I all like drank already. We've literally just got here. It's so good. It tastes so oaty, honey. Yeah. It's almost like it's a honey oat latte. Honey. Yeah, really? I think so too. No, this is like my favorite coffee. When I lived in this area, I would always come here almost every other morning and get one of these. But I had to stop because it was becoming addicting. But it has like a little bit of cinnamon on top. I've never actually tried coffee that like I liked other than Starbucks, but this is this is like there. the I promise you guys whenever I take anybody here They're like wow. This is a really good latte. So definitely try it. You need to try the honey oat Even if you're like an iced vanilla girl do not get an iced vanilla here You need to get the honey oat and if you're not a coffee girl strawberry matcha is also so good Okay, so we just finished up drinking coffees. We're gonna head to the next location, but actually across from this cafe is a park. It's a beautiful park. You can sit there, drink your coffee if you want. The Lower East Side, like the area that this cafe is in, is also super, super, super cute. My old building is in this area. Let me show you guys. That's my old building right there, so I would walk here every single morning, but this area has super cute spots, super cute restaurants. Like, it is the shit, but I just don't have enough time to show you guys the Lower East Side, so maybe that'll be a different vlog in itself, but you could definitely spend a lot of time just hanging out around here and walking around. All right, so just down there, was Cafe Grumpy. We walked up the street to here. It's a vegetable and fruit stand, but inside you can get different types of like slushies and smoothies and it's fresh fruit as well. Don't grab the ones here. These are already pre-made ones. But the one that I like to get here is just the watermelon slush. You can mix and match your lychee, your kiwi, and it's so fresh and so good. Basically, you go in there, pay with cash if you guys can or else you're gonna get charged a little bit of a fee. And then you pick your slush. They're gonna give you a number. You wait outside right here and then they'll call your number at the window and you'll grab it right there. I wish I had enough time to like actually show you guys me drinking yeah, but a bitch is gonna get full if she actually starts eating and drinking everywhere that I'm suggesting. I'm trying to put y'all on the most spots as I possibly can while we're waiting for this Uber. While we're waiting, I'm gonna show you guys this. So this is called Dimes Square. Not Times Square, babe. Dimes Square. And you can see the Freedom Tower here, but around 8 p.m. at night, it becomes totally different. There's tables all on the streets. They block off the streets here. There's skaters, all that stuff. So definitely come here later at night and you'll find like the coolest crowd and everyone's sitting outside. I feel like this area here in the Lower East Side, it's personally like my favorite area in New York. This is the first area that I'm like like, I like it here. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of the times, like, the first couple times I went to New York, I went to Times Square. I went to, like, all the touristy spots. So you get to really see, like, this city, but it's just so busy that it kind of makes you kind of, like, feel like, oh, I could never live here, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was more, I don't want to say dirty, but mm -hmm. it was, like, it was a little frightening. And here, yes. it feels more, like, homey. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like I, like, when I first came to New York, I didn't really like it, but slowly as I came, I started to enjoy it more after finding more neighborhoods and stuff like that. Because then you start, like, going outside of like the midtown and stuff like that. Could I just get um, one uh, Arabata taco? tacos. So I'm curious, since you're actually Mexican and you're from California, I'm like, ooh, the stakes are high. Let's see. Mmm. I'm like, this is delicious to me. You like it? Woo! It's approved. It's approved. It's actually good. Oh my god, thank god. I have not taken Kaylee, who's my roommate. She's also Mexican, and I haven't taken her here because I'm scared that it's not good. But the fact no. that so the tortillas are handmade, which makes the biggest difference. Mmm, okay. It's like real corn. And like, look at how juicy this meat is. Like, it's literally just dripping, bro. It's so 
good. Y'all need to try it here. I know it's touristy, I know it's popular, but I think it's popular for a reason. Approved. I think top 10 best tacos I've ever tried. No, be for real. I'm being be so, so for real. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. 10 out of 10. High five. This girl got the big bag. She got the big bag. I love it though. Levain Bakery. Check. This is what the tin is looking like. Levain Bakery. Wow. Okay, which one do you want to try? I think that's the walnut one. Okay. These are fat, thick cookies. Like, but it's like a cookie I never tried before. Look at that. Not the hand behind it. Wow. This is the first time that I've tried a thick cookie that is chewy and uh -huh. soft. Mm. Do you like it? Every single time I've tried one of these chunky cookies, they're always kind of like on the drier side, but this one met like legit like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like chewy inside. It's like soft. Oh, also, if you love raw cookie dough, you're gonna love this place. I hate raw cookie dough. I love this place. But the thing is, if people like... I've noticed people say, oh, it kind of tastes like uncooked, mm -hmm. you know? But it is cooked, guys. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. She just literally ran into me on the streets of New York City. What's your name? Kai. Kai. Kai and Mai. High five. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. You watch my videos? Yeah, you're amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank hi. You. Wait, what's your name? Hi, hi to Ohio. Hi. <laughs> okay, so where we were just at for the tacos and the cookies is an area called NoHo. It's right next to Soho, which we're gonna go into. But if you're here, check out the store Kith. It's right behind it. It's super busy all the time. Like there's a very long line, but I think it's worth it because there's like sneakers, streetwear, and even if you're not into that clothing, it's just a cool New York City like base store to check out while you're in the area. But now that we're done here, we're literally gonna walk maybe five minutes down and be in Soho. What do you think of the area so far? This is my favorite area in New York. Yes. It's the best. I think it's like the one that feels the most what I thought New York was gonna be like. And it's a lot more calm, right? Yes, yeah. it's calm. That's the main thing. Yes, you have to come down to this area if you come to New York. Like, do not skip NoHo and Soho. This is the neighborhood that made me fall in love with New York first. This is making me want to come back. This is like, I would live here. Ah! I would live here. It's so nice. Like, everyone's out, and I'm not fearing for my life. It's tour. It looks like everyone here's like a tourist. Yes, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people here are tourists. It's definitely a touristy spot, but it's a different type of touristy spot. But at the end of the day, Soho is Soho. People f with Soho. Honorable mention, we're not gonna go in there, but there's a show field behind me in the same area, like literally all on the same street. It basically is a four level store with a bunch of small businesses or businesses that don't have their own storefront. And you can just check out a bunch of cool different shops and stuff like that in there. So check out Showfields. It's my first time ever seeing a place like that in New York. But finally, we're gonna head into the city and go shopping. Okay, so we're currently in Soho on Spring Street right now. And this is the street where all the shops are at. Like this, this street is giving New York City. So definitely come check it out here. We are at Aritzia, but this location is a double decker. They have a cafe that's like free. All this, shit, it's super cool. Oh my gosh, I just met Sydney hi. in the Aritzia. Wait, the way she ran, she was like, oh, and I was like, oh, girl, hi. And she's from New York. She said she watched me and Lena, so she got to support the NYC yep. girlies. Wait, do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> I need to go out in the city more because I'm not gonna lie, I never am out here, but when I do, it's like a whole meet and greet sesh and I love it. All right, so we just finished up in Soho. We went to a couple different stores, but the thing about New York City is yes, they have all the stores that you'd see everywhere else, but I feel like the stores here are extra cool because basically they just have like customization stations or just even the Aritzia being such a big store. It's super nice to come here and check out all the stores, especially to spend a shopping day in Soho. It's perfect, but we're not gonna stop too much there because we're gonna head over to Washington Square Park, which is where all the skaters are. It's called the West Village kind of NYU area, I feel like, and it's a totally different vibe than here. And I think that's also what I love about New York is that you can walk 15 minutes and you'll see a completely different crowd and you'll see different people. And everyone here is so unique, which is what I love. We just met another subscriber on the street. Hi. What's your name? I'm Sandra. Sandra, nice to meet nice you. To meet. We're gonna go flick up right now. Okay, so if there's one spot that you recommend here, what would you recommend? Um, so there's this Indonesian food restaurant called Awang Kitchen. Okay. It's in Queens near um, Elmhurst, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you so should go there. <laughs> all right. Is there anything in the city that you recommend? Have you tried fish cheeks? No. It's a Thai restaurant. It's really fish good. Fish chicks? F 
Fish cheeks. Fish cheeks, okay. Fish cheeks. Good to know. Look at that. We're getting local recommendations right now. The thing about New York is you walk around and there's always so much to see. There's also so many vendors on the street. So it's just like people selling things out of their car on the street. Jewelry, art, things for dogs, everything. There's always so much to look at. Okay, so I can't go to all of the spots because if I did, then this video would be forever and I would be stuffed. But I'm going to show you guys two spots. If you're looking for a brunch spot, there's a place called Sedell's. It's just like a classic brunch spot here in New York City. You could sit outside and also the area is beautiful. It's in the same area that we're in right now, which is Soho. So I would definitely stop there. Oh, and I do got to mention Harb. So the thing about me is like, I'm a dessert gal. Like you're a dessert too. gal too. And first time like coming to New York, I realized that New York has places dedicated just for dessert. So like you'll go out to a restaurant or whatever. And then after you'll go to a dessert spot. And Harb's is one of my favorite spots just because there's coffees, teas, cakes, all that stuff that you can pick from. And it's super casual and it's really, really, really good. So definitely check out Harb's when you're here. There's a couple different locations, but don't get dessert at the restaurant. Make dessert its own thing. We are gonna be getting the best thing ever, which is the strawberry cake. This is an OG, this is my favorite. I got an iced tea, but we have the cake here, the strawberry one, this is the best. She got a coffee. That's the best whipped cream I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. First day, New York was cool. Second day, New York was cool. Today, they have the best spots. It's just so good. Everywhere everything. We've gone. That's the thing about New York is that everywhere you go, there's good food. I feel like everywhere else, you have to read the reviews. It's yeah. Like miss. Here, everything is so good. Everything about it, the whipped cream, the cake, mm -hmm. the strawberries are like ripe, and just the vibe too. Cheers. What would you rate this place? The aesthetic is everything. They sit you down, they give you water. They come dressed like chefs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Guys, this is one of my favorites. Come here. This is my favorite place. You can get your tarot and energy readings, but then you can also get some art, and then you can get a hot dog and some ice cream if you walk three seconds. Such a vibe. It's such a vibe. Nah, I need to find some better vocabulary, but I love it. I love New York. But also you can get some hats if you like but also a massage if you're feeling that too. They got everything They got everything over here uh, And also if you're like into like the skater boys Definitely come here. This is where they're all at if you want to find yourself like a skater boy boyfriend Come here like literally if you guys don't live in New York and you guys have never been here, I hope you're really extra enjoying this vlog. I hope you feel like you're in New York City right now with me. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, now we're here in the West Village, which I feel like is a lot more calm, but I love the vibes here. I wish I came here more often. It's just that I just think it's so cute and quaint here. Like, look at the street, just so calm. It's definitely lively at times, but compared to the rest of the places, not as busy. And it's so cute. I think I come here because my bike shop is here, but also they have like really nice bakeries, French bakeries, French restaurants. Okay, currently behind me, we have Magnolia Bakery, which I've heard so many people talk about it. I've been here before, but I never got their banana pudding. So we're gonna go inside, check it out, and see if it's worth the hype. I think that this is like the OG location. I know they have a couple different ones. Let's go inside. We're trying the banana pudding. I've never had this. Do you like bananas? Oh, that is so good. Does it taste like banana? Yeah, it does. Do you like banana? No. <gasps> you don't even like it then. Don't even try it. It's literally just bananas. I love bananas. Ban banana is literally my favorite fruit ever. Really? It's good. The consistency and everything's amazing. I just don't like banana, but it's the good. The best thing ever. Wow. All right, it's a little bit later now, but we went back into the Lower East Side where we were at this morning, and we're gonna be getting Scar's Pizza. There's two pizza spots you really have to try when you're here. Prince Street, which is in Soho, but there's also scars. So pick your poison. It's not poison. It's good. Why did I say pick your poison? Who am I? Prince Street's like a little bit thicker and the pepperoni is so good. But Scars is like a classic thin New York slice. It really just depends on what you want. I would try both. We're at Scars tonight. And this line is honestly not bad. Typically there's a crazier line outside. Wait, we're in front of Scars right now. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. I feel like we've been doing like a meetup today. <laughs> The classic New York slice. Wow. Yum, yum, yum. This is like a classic slice. I like Joe's better. You like Joe's better? Ooh, did you have a pepperoni at Joe's? Yeah. Mmm. It's like wow. So good. Y'all have to try Scars and Prince Street. 
We're back at again at the fruit stands, but this time I'm gonna get something. Slay. Could I get the oh, watermelon um, lychee? Watermelon lychee. Thank you. <laughs> now we have to sit out here and drink it. This is the New York City thing. We have to sit here now. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Very yum. Mmm. Well, I wanna try mine. Yum. Mmm. This is literally just fresh fruit that they blend up. Like nothing added in it is so good. And this is the neighborhood spot. I know I showed you guys what it's like in the morning, but they're open all day and night. Not actually 24 hours, but basically. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. Um,